I used to work for the Postal Service. I started off in Oakland and actually in a very short period of time, about six months, I actually got elected Vice President of the Letter Carriers Union. By my own admission, I wasn't a very good uh, officer of the union. Later on, I got promoted. And I probably wasn't the greatest supervisor. I saw faults with both sides. I looked at grievances as really a lack of understanding by everyone. There was always room to move to the middle and not everybody was always right and not everybody was always wrong. Anyway, I was uh, transferred uh, to San Jose from Oakland and I had a route um, in an industrial area and I've been delivering the area for a long time. They started building trenches down the road for, that they were going to put big, huge sewer pipes in. So they were deep. They were probably six feet, seven feet down and they had these pipes on the side of the road they were going to put in there. And I've seen the men working at it for couple of weeks. And so I'm delivering mail one day, going down the road uh, parallel to where these trenches are. And uh, all of a sudden I, I pull over and, and I can hardly breathe. I, I'm suffocating. I feel really, I'm ill. I can't breathe. I feel like I'm dying. And I, and I, I just parked the Jeep and, and I'm there and I'm hanging on the steering wheel because it's just, it's terrible. I just, I'm feeling like I'm dying, like I'm suffocating. This went on for 15, 20 minutes, maybe a little less. And uh, I got back on the road, finished the route. I didn't know what that was about. Punched off the clock. I actually thought about uh, going to see a doctor at one time, but by the time I punched off the clock and was driving home, I was perfectly all right. There was nothing wrong. And I got home, greeted my family, and turned on the TV news. And the local news had a story about a construction worker that fell into a ditch. And there was a cave-in. And he'd suffocated, and the location was exactly half a block away, just adjacent to where I was at. And it was exactly that time that I was having the problems. Why I was empathetically connected to him, why I was struggling with his death, why was I feeling it, why couldn't I breathe, I don't know. But it was a strange experience, and I know that uh, somehow we were connected. I was connected with him empathetically. And uh, so I said a prayer and uh, was kind of sad about it all. But I realized that uh, his last moments of life, somehow I shared with him. 